Hey guys, it's Kat, and today I thought I would show you how to make a little big googly eyed um, witch cozy. This is on a mason jar, but it goes on your coffee mug or your child's sippy cup. So let me show you what you're going to need to make this cute little gal. Okay, so here are the um, materials you're going to need to make your witch coffee or cup cozy. Um, I'm using a Red Heart Super Saver Frosty Green and then the scrap of some black, red, and purple for the hair. Uh, a couple of googly eyes, your H hook, and some felt. I'm going to make my hat on top of her head out of felt. Um, so that, and I will give you guys um, the link to the pattern. You guys have to pay attention a little bit um, in the beginning because I change the number of chains that you start with. So. Um, uh, she starts with a chain of 15, I start with a chain of 19. So um, I like my coffee cozy to be a little a little wider. So um, let's get started. Okay, so what you're going to start with is you're going to chain 19. And the chain is, take your yarn and you just put it over like that. Put your hook in, yarn over pull through and you just tighten it up so that's that's not a chain that's I guess a slip 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 knot yeah I think it's a slip knot and then you're gonna do chain 19 so yarn over and pull through that's a chain yarn over pull through that's two three four seventeen eighteen and nineteen okay and then what you do in a single crochet in the third chain from your hook so one two, three. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, and that's a single crochet. And then you're going to chain one, and then you're going to skip a chain, and you're going to single crochet in the next one. So you're going to skip a chain, you're not going to go to your next one here, you're going to skip over to the next, and you're going to do a single crochet. And then you're going to repeat the process. You're going to chain one. You're going to skip a chain. Go into the next one. Okay, and you're going to end in your last stitch here. Single crochet, chain one, and turn. Okay, and what you're going to do for the next 35 stitches is you're going to single crochet in the first chain one space. So. Your first chain one space is right here. See there's like a little little spot here how it makes it. So you're gonna do single crochet. So you insert your hook, yarn over. You're gonna do single crochet, yarn over, pull through, and then you're gonna chain one and you're gonna do it again in the next chain one space. So single crochet, chain one. And again, single crochet, chain one. And what you're going to do is you're going to do a single crochet uh, in the last one here. So you're going to do a single crochet in the last single crochet from your previous row. So just a regular single crochet in here, uh, all the way at the end that you have. Single crochet and chain one. And I think that's seven total that you did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so you did nine um, single crochets across here. So you turn your your prod your work. So you just did one row. So you need to do 34 more. So that was one. So you're gonna do the exact same thing across this whole side. You're going to go to your chain one, which is right here. It's a little tricky sometimes. So you're going to single crochet in there, chain one. There is a chain one again. Go in there, single crochet, chain one. Single crochet, 
chain one and you're going to do this back and forth back and forth till you have um, 36 rows starting from the beginning or the length that you want to wrap around your cap and remember you're always going to end with a single crochet in a regular single crochet so um, do that till you hit your um, length of your product or your thing that you want and then I'll come back and show you how to make the um, buttonholes okay so you've done your 36 rows so it should look like this it's pretty cool and textured that's why I like this pattern it's simple and it's cute okay so what you're gonna do next after your 36th row you're gonna single crochet in the first uh, chain one space so just a regular single crochet here and then you're going to chain five one two three four five and you're gonna single crochet into the next chain one space which is right here so single crochet and then you're gonna single crochet in the next chain one space again and then again and then again and again and you're gonna get to to the last one here you're going to okay you're gonna do another single crochet so you're gonna do five all together so one two three four five and you're gonna chain five again one two three four five and you're going to attach it to your chain one space here with a single crochet you're going to attach the chain to your chain one space here and then you're just going to do a slip stitch at the end here so you put your hook through yarn over pull your hook through and then you just pull it through there's no chain one so that's just a slip stitch and you cut your yarn and you fasten it off and voila so you got your <coughs> excuse me you got your two little buttonholes and then um, I forget to tell you you're gonna need buttons so then you get buttons to put on the ends here okay so let's let's figure out where our what our middle is really so if you fold it over and your buttonholes um, like this, so your center. So it's going to be something like that. So we got to do our face. Okay, I found bigger ones. They might look a little silly, but that's okay. It's going to be a silly witch, not a serious witch. Okay, so we got our googly eyes. Now we need to figure out her hair. And what I want to do first is um, make a hat, make her hat out of the felt. Okay, so I did my little witch hat, and I cut a little orange strip of felt and hot glued that on. What I'll do is I made like a little template, so I'll scan that and I'll add it to my website when I post this video, so you guys can go and just get the template and just cut it out. Um, it'll be much easier and faster than trying to draw it and fix it yourself. So what I'm going to do next is take some red yarn and, and give her a little smile because I want my witch to be a happy witch. So I'm just going to give her a little smile with um, some red yarn and I'm going to use a tapestry needle. I forgot to tell you guys about that. Okay, so I just stitched a simple little, um, simple little smile and I think I'm going to give her a little wart on the side here. How witches have a little wart. So um, let me show you how I'm going to do that. What I do is I take a piece of black yarn and then I find the spot that I want to put it in and I think I want to put it like right here. And you don't pull your yarn all the way through. What you do is now you do like a knot and you hold it down and pull it tight 
and then you can go through the same hole or be just a little different and then pull the yarn through and you have yourself a little mole and then um, what I do is I just hot glue the back here because I hate doing all the little um, well, if it's if it's like you know it's just a cozy or a cup cozy it's no one's gonna see it no one's gonna feel it they're just putting it on their cup so I just kind of tie a knot and I just hot glue the back of it there um, so let me see I think I'm gonna do the hair first and then put the hat on yeah so let me see what length the hair should be okay so for the hair I cut about um, 16 pieces of this and I, I didn't use all of them um, and they were six inches long so what I did was is I took my hook and took my piece of uh, yarn here and I kind of want to do it next to the eyes so I go up through the top here loop my yarn around pull it through make sure the yarn is the same length on each side and then I just pull it through like that and I pull it down so my hair is kind of sticking down so I do that I think I did like four across What I did just to make it a little fuller is I took three strands and I kind of went in between um, in between the loops here so like right here and like this and I pull it through and I tie them in a knot And I did three strands like that. Okay. And then what you do is you take your little hat. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hot glue it. I'm going to start in the center. I don't think it has to be perfect covering all that. I think that's just fine like that. So I'm going to hot glue the hat on. Okay, there is your cute little witch cozy. I just happened to put it on a mason jar because I didn't have a cup handy. I was too lazy to get up and go get one. Um, I added some purple buttons. And there it is. Maybe next time I'll make the brim a little fatter so it covers up the, the hair a little bit more, but I think that's cute. There it is. There you guys have it. I hope you guys like it. Make it. Um, just send me some pictures. And um, I think that's it. Just uh, hope you guys like it. Um, send me some ideas. Thanks. Bye.